Will the Niners find their starting right tackle in this draft? Uh, they better hope so. I just don't think they will. Um, looking at – I finally got to see a full, like, nice little list on the athletics, the um, the prospects for tackles. And, dude, top 15, they're all left tackles. They're all left tackles. It's crazy how many, like, guys who are expected to go in the first five rounds have very little right tackle experience. The only one who was, like, a clear cut had 30-plus starts – was this guy called Nick Saldaveri out of Old Dominion. And mm. he's a guy who uh, – what was it? He's a guy who, again, has his weakness about, like, lunging. Like, he's pretty solid at run blocking and stuff like that, but his issues is running against uh, – uh, lunging against explosive pass rushers. So I think that's something that, you know, you could probably teach into him. And maybe he's someone that it, it's rough in the early goings, but it gets better as, as the season goes. So that's someone I would love for them to get. I think that's my pick to get, like, the instant starter. But outside of that, all the other guys are left tackles who have, like, less fi- less than 15 starts – at right tackle and those starts that right tackle were like earlier in their careers I've seen. Whereas at least like the old dominion cat, he, at least he's been healthy. He hasn't missed games. So that's a big plus. Um, but ultimately I think what it comes down to, it's very hard to find instant good starting tackles in the later rounds of a draft. You can for centers and guards tackles is very, very hard to find to actually find someone unless you're a bad team. That's like, Hey, we're forced to play this guy. He's decent. We got to let him learn through it. Where the nine is like, you're not a team who's going to afford to let these guys learn through it, right? Which is why mm-hmm. I think it's going to be Colton McKivitz. And you, mm-hmm. at this point, if the only tackle you're going to find who's a starter is a future starter at left tackle behind right. Trent Williams since there's so many left tackles you can find there. Right. I mean, unless you are have a top 10 pick like Philly does, uh, you're not going to find a day one starter who's going to be good nope. in round three. Like the whole league didn't pass on that guy three times. Everyone wants that guy. So what you're looking for is – you know, say we're a good team. We don't need guys to start right away. Let's be patient and draft a guy and put him in our strength and training program, and he'll be something in a few years. And you, they could theoretically find that guy. I mean, they've had success finding guys like that in rounds five and stuff. So maybe, but I, I'm a little skeptical that a team that starts Colton McKivitz is going to win a Super Bowl. I'm a little skeptical that Colton McKivitz is going to be a starter on a Super Bowl winning team ever. But hey, call me a hater, man. I'm a Colton McKivitz hater. Well, he hasn't shown anything. And again, there's always that's why I hate like it's like, well, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. But again, we're basing off off we've seen, especially you, since you're actually there on the on the training camps and the practices and stuff like that. So it's like it's like it's not like he's shown anything to be really hopeful about, other than that he's young and uh, technically moldable. That, that's the thing about young players. It's like yes, young and technically, technically in theory moldable doesn't mean he's gonna be. Um, but yeah, this is where it gets scary about the part about right tackle. It's like man, it's like. Your team is sweet, but of all the holes on your team, that's a goddamn glaring one. And the only one that has at least top 15, according to what I saw from the from the prospective rankings on the athletic that I like to use, there's only one guy who's had a huge slew of right tackle starts, and that's the guy Nick Saldaveri from Old Dominion. And if you're relying on just one player, <laughs> he's probably going to get picked. He's probably going to get picked before that in the third. He's protected to go in the third round. So the Niners are picking at the end of their round. They might not get him. They're going to probably trade up. And not unless you want to go draft a left tackle and try to flip him to the other side, which I don't think is good business. I never think it's good to put a guy who's not in a natural position and just put him day one. He's like, ah, good luck. But then yeah. that's, that's something the Niners will do. And I think I could yeah. definitely see them doing that. Here's my point. I feel like here's where the Niners are inconsistent. They say stuff like, hey, man, we're a win now team. Okay. We just can't afford to play someone. Like Trey Lance, who's not, he, was, he lacks experience. He needs playing time. I mean, we just can't take the risk of, of a, a guy as green as Trey Lance on the field. We can't. But we can play Colt McKivitz at right tackle with his five career starts. Like, offensive tackle is a very important position. It's as important as any position not named quarterback. And you're like, yeah, forget it. Colt McKivitz. We, we love Colt McKivitz. Yeah, he's played five games and he's been kind of up and down, but he's. Trey Lance, though, is way too inexperienced. It's like, I don't know, man. If I, I follow your logic with Trey Lance, honestly, I do. I feel like you've botched his whole career, but I follow your logic there. I don't follow your logic at right tackle. You're telling me your team is super duper stacked. What the hell is Colton McKivitz doing on the field? Why? You're too good for that, right? I thought. I thought you were. You said you were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just think it's, it, it, on the, from their standpoint, it's easier to mitigate like woes a from right a right tackle, tackle spot than a it right is a quarterback. Is, 
but still it's like doesn't mean yeah. just because it's, it's easier to mitigate doesn't mean it's going to be easy in itself right it's like it's like now you're gonna have to tinker with your offense and try to get george Kittle on that side the running yeah. back's gonna be kicked to the, to the quarterback's right side now or you're gonna have to just operate within the three second offense in terms of passing attacks or, or maybe they'll just use their tight ends to, to you know pass protection like they did in the nfc championship game that worked out <laughs> that was good that was smart kenneth says grant keep growing that beard bro looking fierce I don't know, man. Look at this. Is this what you want to see? Is that is that good? I don't think no, so. Just shave the neck, and that's fine. Shave the neck? Okay, I'll shave give it a the, shot. You got to shave the neck. Shave the neck. It's got to shave I'm about to retire mine soon. and It's starting to get hot, so once it's fully grown, ah. it's, down, it's, and I'm, it's I'm, a I'm, winter I'm beard. Go T boys. I feel that. Um, all right, man. Go T boys? You're going to be a guy. <laughs> I've never had a goatee. But I should. I used to. I, wanna... I, I love to have it. But I, no, I don't connect it. I like to sh shave this part. I don't like to have like the actual, like, oh. This makes me look like I'm, 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 I'm my own evil twin. I so see I'm, what you I'm mean. Connecting is kind of a bad look. I don't, I don't like the shot. Everyone's saying shave the neck. Okay, I'll give it a shot. See what it is. Yes, you have to shave the neck, you rookie. You stupid. Like, come on, dude. That's the way it looks more aligned. Yeah. Javon, the barber, used to do that for me, actually, but he ghosted me. Javon, where'd you go? Javon, you go back. Him. <clears throat> huh? So, hey, people in the chat, if you get a haircut, you're supposed to have your barber's number, correct or incorrect? 99% of the people are going to say correct. You're supposed to have, if he's actually your barber, if he's actually your barber, you have his number. I went to him four times. Is that Fruitvale Barber in Oakland? I just walked in the first time. He was chilling. I said, can I get a haircut? He said, yeah. So I figured, man, this dude's dope. I'm going to always go in for walk-ins. He's always there chilling. I went back two weeks ago and I was like, where's Javon? The dude was like, who? I was like, what do you mean who? Where's Javon? And he was like, nah, he don't work here anymore. He's like, you want me to cut your hair? I was like, no. I don't know you. I trust Javon. So, Javon, if you're out there, hit me up, dude. I need a haircut. It's been a month. This is what you get. Only trust you. You trusted him, but you didn't trust the nuts to get his. Hey, can I get your number? We can schedule some of that. I trust him to be consistent. You're right. My bad. But I did ask him. I was like, so, I was like, should I call you up and like make a reservation? He's like, why would you do that? Just, just walk in. I was like, that. okay then. Jay. He said that. Nah, he said he said he said he didn't even do reservations, which I liked because I don't do reservations either. That's my guy, Javon. Well, but Colt plays playing, the game the right way, gamer. Who's Colt? But Colt plays the game the right way. Colt McKivitz? Oh, yeah. It's true. I was about to say Colt McCoy. I was like, wait, what? I was like, when they signed what? him, they signed him where we're going? I was like, what the fuck? All right, I'm going to go get my hair cut.